Good morning, Namibia, and welcome to My Zone Online School. I'm Mr. Sean Dirgar, and we have a lovely friend with us today. And the two of us are so excited to be bringing Maths Grid 4 and 5 to you today. But before we can start with our lesson, we should first sanitize. My friend, let's take our sanitize, spray in our hands, let's clean our hands. We have our masks on. And also remember social distance, at least 1.5 meters away from each other. So let's spread out and then we see. Wow, thank you, my friend. Now, today's lesson is numeration and place value. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to take out your books and open it on page eight. Now we're gonna start with numeration. Now the question is, what is numeracy? Numeracy is the ability to understand and work with numbers. Now remember when we work with numbers, they can give us numbers in digit form and they can also give us numbers in words. Now whenever they give me a number in the form of a digit and they want me to write it in words, there's one rule which I should always make sure of, and that is correct spelling. Because it's very, very important that we spell the number correctly whenever we write it in words. And when they give me the number in words, and they want me to write it in the form of a digit, there's also one rule. When the digits are, more, are four and more, remember to leave a space between the fourth and the third number. It's very important, guys that we learn these two rules. Now we continue with a few examples. Let's look at our first examples. Write 23 in words. So there they give you the number 23. So they want me to write it in words. Now it's always easy to write a number in words because why? Here we say the number out loud and as we hear the digits, we write it down. So let's start. 23. 20. So we hear the word 20. And then we write 20. And then we also hear the word 3. So we write 3. 23. And going back to our rule, make sure we spell 23 correctly. Let's try another example. Write 712 in digits. Here they gave me the word 712 and they want me to write it in digits. Now when we write numbers in digits, we start writing from the biggest number that we hear. So what is the biggest number that we hear? Yes, if you said 700, that is the biggest number. So we're going to write 700 100, and then we also hear 12, and then we're going to write the 12. You want to try one more example? Write 3,925 in words. Remember what I said, always try to say the number out loud. And as you hear the number, then you write it down. So let's start. 3,000, that is the first word that I hear. So I write down 3,000. 900, that is the second, I write it down, and 25. So 3,925. And do not forget about your spelling. Guys, I want you to do the rest of the examples. Without looking on the answers, I want you to try that examples. But don't forget, whenever they give you the word, the digits in words, Remember the space between the fourth and the third digits. Thank you. Now we continue. We go over to page nine and we start with place value. Now, what is place value? Place value, remember, also deals with numbers. Now, a number is made out of different digits. 
And in that number, each of that digits has a specific place and a specific value. Now you will hear the word place value and you will also hear the word value. And it's important that we know what is the difference between place value and the difference between just value. Now going back to previous years, if you look at grade one, two, and three, we always heard the teacher talked about units, tens, hundreds, thousands. Now that is the place value. That is the position a number has, a digit has in a number. So whenever we talk about place value, we talk about units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and these are usually written in words. And from the place value, we get the value. Now value is how much is that digit worth? Is that digit worth 30, 300, 3,000, 30,000? So you will hear when we talk about value, we talk about how much the digit is worth. So please guys, try to remember the difference between place value, which is unit, tens, hundreds, thousands, and then value, which will refer to how much the digit is worth. Is it worth 20, 50,000, six, etc. And we usually use a place value chart, which we will record our digits in. And from the place value chart, we get our place value and we get our value. Now let's try a few examples. If we look at our book, there we have quite a big number. It says, fill in the numbers below in the correct place value on the place value chart. A number is 396,287. Are we together, my friend? Yes, we are together. Now, let's see. Here we need to fill in each digit in the place value chart. In our place value chart, we usually start from the slow, smallest place value, which is our units or ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. So now we know the seven is a unit, the eight is a ten, the two is a hundred, the six is a thousand, the nine is a ten thousand, and the three is a hundred thousand. And that is the place value. Now let's look at our questions. What is the place value of the nine? Remember the word place? Place means po. Position. Where in that number is the nine? And if we refer to our place value chart, we see the place value of the nine is a 10,000. Now let's try. What is the value of the nine? Here we see, they just ask for value. We don't see the word place. We just see the word value. So here they want to know, how much is that nine worth? And we get it from the place value. We know the place value is a 10,000. We take the 10,000, we multiply it with a nine, and the value is 90,000. Let's try one more example. What is the value of the two? Here they only want to know what the value is. There's no place, so let's quickly try it. What do you think, what is the value? If you said the value is 200, that is 100% correct. How did we get it? We know the place is 100, and we said two times 100, and that is equal to 200. We wanna try one more example. My friend also wants to try 
One more example, is that correct? Yes. So let's try. What is the place value of the seven? Here we hear the word place value again. So here we know we want to find out what place or position the seven has. We go to our place value chart and we see the seven is a unit or it is a one. So the place value of the seven, you can either write it as units or you can write it as ones. Well done, learners. And we can continue on page 10. Here we have a very nice activity for you guys to do. This activity is based on numeration and place value. Let's quickly go through the activity. Write 29 in words. Here they want us to write in words. Remember the rule. Check for spelling. Number two, write 505 in digits. Number three, write 578 in words. Check for spelling. Number four is quite a big word. 74,311 in digits. Let's repeat that again. Write 74,000. 311 in digits. Here we should not forget the space between the fourth and the third digit. Number five, fill in the number 29,653 in the place value chart below. So there's a place value chart, units, tens, hundred thousand, Ten thousands and hundred thousands. Yeah, 5.1. Fill in the place value and the value of the two. Then we want both the place value and the value. What is the value of the five? And 5.3. What is the place value of the six? Guys and girls, I really hope you will enjoy doing this activity. On page 11 you will find the memorandum. Memorandum is answers. But first, I want you to try to do these sums without looking at your answers. Boys and girls, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson with me and my friend. And we want to say, please keep safe whenever you travel, wear your mask, sanitize, and keep social distance. Goodbye. And make sure to always make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye!